This is the mod I made for the LEGO 60337 train kit. Kind of got tired of replacing the six AAA batteries. And also I was kind of unsatisfied with how fast the AAAs would be after a very short amount of time. So I've modified in a 18650 battery with a TP4056 um, charging module and a boost converter. So the uh, boost converter goes up to nine volts, so it stays there the whole time. And as you can see, it's really easy to charge. Just lift this thing off. All right, I'm gonna take it apart and show you. All right, I've got all the pieces de deconstructed here. Right here, this is the main part of the mod. This is where the 18650 goes. Um, so the 18650 slides into there. There's little gaps around here for wires to slide through the back. And then this cap glues on. This is a TP4056 module. And uh, it was a little bit painful to solder this in. There is four wires that come out of this module. And there is not a lot of space in the LEGO train set for all these wires to go. So you, they kind of just lay flat in that space between the TV4056 and the battery. And then the wires come out here and then go up to the front where we've got a switch and a power indicator LED. And so this right here is basically a replacement for the, the base. So I've got two flathead cap screws there, which screw through the plastic. And then those attach over here to a boost converter module. I've got a nine volt module here, but you know, you can do whatever you want. You can get an adjustable one, try and over, over volt your train or whatever. And then the wires just come out through this hole here and attach. In hindsight, I would not have uh, done this uh, connector. I would have just gone straight in because this connector is quite bulky and there's not much space there. And so I will put a, um, a wiring diagram for all this stuff up. And so the base of this is obviously 3D printed Legos. So um, you're going to need a printer that can print a tolerance. Otherwise, that's going to be tricky. All right, and then so that just goes in there. And then these are M2 by 10 screws. M2 by 8s will also work, but they're kind of cutting it close. Okay. And so I'm just going to attach this. Now this fits through this doorway. Just barely, like that. And then this Lego attaches to that spot right there, and then it rests on both sides here and here. So it's actually pretty stable, even though it's only held right there. It goes like that. These wires kind of go over to the side and There you go. And so the way this works is you open it up and then you turn it on right there. And there you go. So we got power. You can close it. And then when you need to charge it, all you got to do is take that off. You can plug it in right there.